Philosophy of Hinduism by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Question 5 Part 12 This work of elevating the Smritis to the status of the Vedas was undertaken by the Brahmins for a very selfish reason. The Smritis contain in all its wild and luxurious growth the doctrine of caste, the doctrine of the superiority of the Brahmins, their rights and privileges, the doctrine of the subordination of the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas, and the doctrine of the degradation of the Shudras. Such being the philosophy of the Smritis, the Brahmins were directly interested in investing the Smritis with the authority which was claimed for the Vedas and in which they ultimately succeeded to their advantage but to the ruination of the whole country. But conceding, which orthodox and pious Hindu would do, that the Smritis do not contain the philosophy of Hinduism, but that the same is found in the Vedas and the Bhagavad Gita, the question is what difference would this make in the result? It seems to me that it matters very little whether one takes the Smritis or the Vedas or the Bhagavad Gita. Do the Vedas teach something which is fundamentally different from what the Smritis do? Does the Bhagavad Gita run contrary to the injunction of the Smritis? A few illustrations will make the matter clear. The end.